Alrighty, latest project. So here is a thermal printer from AliExpress, about 30 ducks delivered. Uses these cheap and ubiquitous um, thermal paper rolls. Uh, connected to uh, ESP32. And uh, the, actual, the specific model is not important, but I'm using an M5 Stick C. And this is connecting to my MQTT broker and subscribing to a uh, print topic. And when I press the button here, it publishes to a print topic. And there's an agent running on my server that connects to Grossi. So when it sees that button press topic get published, it connects to my uh, kitchen inventory grocery shopping list management dearly do and prints out the shopping list. And it's ordered by the occurrence of the product in the shopping, uh, in, the, in the supermarket we go to. This is incredible, this is amazing. This is what I've been trying to do for ages. I ordered this like two months ago. It took a while to get here. But um, yeah, that's great. Um, so Grossi obviously has a phone interface, but I much prefer having a piece of paper to hold in my hand so I can sort of like fold it over when I get done. And having it ordered in occurrence in the, in the supermarket makes an amazing difference to like efficiency and less wandering about buying stuff you don't need because you can just do one pass straight through bang 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 you're not having to constantly check back and see oh did i get that did i get that it's great um so yeah um so i'm gonna 3d print a box for this mount that with a nice button so you just tap a little button and it will print um, the benefit of putting it on mqtt is that i can print um, basically anything to it um from various stuff on my network. Um, it can print a few other things, like it can print um, different, it's the character set. Um, it can also print bitmaps. Um, but that's a bit tricky to push that much data over. MQTT, it's not really built for that. Um, but you can print barcodes, uh, Chinese characters, there's lots of other stuff. The, the, the command set is Pretty comprehensive but um, for now I'm just using the default font and works pretty great okay bye bye